Welcome to VM Explorer video tutorial. This session explains how to enable data duplication on a Windows 2012 server and use it with VM Explorer. We start by opening the Data Center tab in VM Explorer. And we navigate to the Data Center tree to select a virtual machine. Through the contextual menu, we select Perform a Backup. And wait until it's finished. At this point we go to Windows Explorer and check how much space our backup is using. As we can see, the backup is using approximately 9 gigabytes of space. Now we go back to VM Explorer and perform another backup of the same virtual machine. Checking Windows Explorer again, we can see that the used space has grown by another 9 gigabytes, using a total of about 17 gigabytes. At this point, we move to the Server Manager window and configure data deduplication on the volume containing our backups. For this example, we configure to deduplicate files older than zero days and open the deduplication schedule dialog. Here, we enable the background optimization to have a minimum impact on system performances. We can also configure a schedule to run the deduplication at normal priority during the night to maximize the performances. Since we restricted the deduplication operation to perform only at certain hours, for this example we will force the system to run it now. Through the Windows PowerShell, we start the deduplication operation with the start dwjog command, with the volume and the type of the deduplication as arguments. We can then check the current status of the job using the get dedub job command. At this point, if we go back to Windows Explorer, we can see that the used space has been reduced to 4 gigabytes, saving us a lot of space. Thank you for following us in this tutorial.